So good evening once again and uh, welcome. My name is Samson Emelike and by the grace of God, I will be coordinating this training and with support from other um, members of the Havron team. It's a thing of pleasure for us to bring this training uh, to members of Havron Network because uh, we see it as a very um, important program that helps organizations and individuals to visualize their data. We all know that just like money is the live wire of any uh, economy, association or union, the same way data is the currency. That is what predicts the, uh, how the business will go. And so it becomes very important for us to look at very key uh, business intelligent tool that it's gaining global um, acceptance and application. So um, what we will be looking at in this course is uh, an introductory part, uh, a component of the program. And then it's going to create the foundation for understanding what the tool is all about and how to use it for our business analysis. So this is the first one we are doing and we have taken time to invest so much resources in this course. This is the only course that we have uh, invested so much resources to come up with a robust training um, curriculum. And so what we have packaged for the pilot edition, it's going to be different from how the course will subsequently run. So I want to congratulate every one of us for being part of this uh, pilot edition. So uh, without wasting much time, we will go into the orientation. So uh, the course is actually supposed to start uh, tomorrow and today is preceding that date. Today is the orientation. And so it's just for us to look at the course, what is in it? How are we going to benefit from it? And so this is the outline that we are going to use. We are hoping that within 60 minutes, we should be able to go through this. There are very short, short um, uh, topics. And by the grace of God, we all will be happy at the end of this orientation. So we are going to look at what we hope to achieve during this orientation. What will be our objectives? Next, we will look at the course itself. The Power BI course itself will introduce it and then we'll look at the objectives, what the course itself hopes to achieve, what the participants are expected to learn at the end of the course. Then we will now look at how the course content will be delivered, looking at the content delivery model. Then um, we'll just briefly talk about um, commitment from participants. Because for this kind of program, this kind of training, it is expected that the participant will make some uh, degree of sacrifice in form of commitment so that uh, they will benefit maximally from the course. Then we'll look at the course itself. How are the lessons arranged? Then um, for the system requirements, I believe every one of us has that it's part of what we did um, in the enrollment form when we assessed your uh, skills in some key tools and apps and then looked at your the system requirements so like i say it's not going to take us a very much time but what we want you to understand is that this course is going to be interactive 
So for this orientation, at the end of it, we believe that students will understand what this course is all about. I believe that 90% or 95% of everyone here already have heard what about Power BI. They must have heard what Power BI is used for. Probably they may not have uh, taken time to explore it. Okay, so this course is going to help us to understand what this course is all about. This course will also, I mean, uh, at the end, participants will also understand how the course will be delivered. It's one of the key things we hope to achieve in this um, orientation. What to learn per session. So we are going to look at how many sessions uh, in the course and then per session, what do we hope to learn? Because each lesson is targeted towards particular topics that will help us and enhance our understanding of this tool. Then we'll briefly look at the three key parts of Power BI. You know, when you look at the framework of any uh, project or any structure, it will help you understand the key components. And then understanding that key component will help you to uh, assimilate how they work in unison. And then we hope that um, every student will be able to download. If we have not already downloaded the desktop um, app and install on our system, so we are going to look at how that can be done. So let's look at introduction. This is a powerful collection of software, apps, and services. And this helps organizations to organize their data and unveil insights and trends. Like I told us, data is what drives business. And so within the data, you know, how your business is going. If you look into the data very well, it will reveal things that are going right, things that are going wrong, things that can be improved upon, things that can be changed to improve your business. So those are insights. And then it helps us to identify trends. How are things happening part time? This course will also allow us to know how to link a data model in Power BI and create visual reports that will reveal data insights. So uh, this course, um, uh, it's going to primarily focus on the desktop client, but we are going to look at the other two components. When we go to the next um, few slides, we'll see the three key components of Power BI and how they are connected. All right, so if we want to look at more about Power BI, what can this really help us to do? What is it all about? This is going to show us how easy is it is to create reports. I know when we talk about reports, let our mind do not, not go to narrative reports, say um, who did what, what was done, when was it done, why was it done, and so on and so forth, the five Ws and, and the H. No, we are talking about the visuals, the, um, the uh, what's it called, the graphs, the charts, those are the reports. By mere looking at a chart, you tell a lot of stories. Okay, so when we talk about reports in Power BI, let our mind go straight to those visuals that represent our data. They are the things that give value, that give appreciation, that give meaning and bring out insights from the data. So we are going to see how it easy it is to create them using the Power BI. We also see how it is to collaborate on dashboards and share insights, both within your organization and outside the organization. You know, the most powerful feature of this is that for international organizations that have uh, multinational offices, you can stay in one point, create your report, and everybody across the different continents can collaborate with the same report. They can use it to create more reports, 
and everybody will see. Okay, so this is a very powerful feature that helps us to collaborate on dashboards and share insights both within the organizations and outside the organization. And the good thing about it is that it's it has a user-friendly tools. Like when we are sharing the advertorials, we made mention that it does not require high-tech skills, no specific or uh, very high-tech IT um, skills required. Please, can you confirm that you can still hear me? Yes, we can still hear you. Yes, I hear you. All right. Thank you. So we'll also see how we can make most use of our big data investments by connecting to all our data sources. It is possible that our data are in different places. It can be in Facebook. It can be on the web. It can be anywhere. With the help of Power BI, you are able to connect to them, connecting them, and then uh, analyzing them at that level. We also see how it is to work together easily on the same data. I can create data sets right now. And then once I, uh, I create the reports and share, wherever you are, you are able to have access to that data set. You know? And then by changing it, we can say, okay, let's, if we change this report to this, what would it look like? I mean, if we change the data set like this, what would the report be like? What would the trend be like? Then we'll see how it is easy it is to connect to model. We can model data in different uh, platforms and then be able to get it. And then one very uh, key fascinating feature is the artificial intelligence feature that this has. There are times, I mean, there are levels you go, you will type a question based on the data and Power BI will give you the answer. Say, assuming this goes like this, what will be the trend? Power BI will respond because of the artificial intelligence features embedded in it. So now let's look at the course itself. What do we hope to achieve in the course? We are, are hopeful that uh, participants will be able to understand the purposes and basic functions of the core Power BI components. They will also be comfortable using the Power BI desktop client and then the web app. I'm going to show us shortly how these three components, they work. Connecting to a data source using either the Power BI desktop client or the web app, we'll see how we can model data, see how we'll be able to create reports and visualize them. Now, how are we going to deliver this? Now, first of all, it's good to tell us that the course is in itself is divided into five key lessons. Lesson one, two, three, four, and five. Each lesson focuses on several key topics. And each one helps you to understand uh, how a particular concept works. And then they are further broken down into easy to follow concepts. I, has, I saw somebody uh, share, I mean, ask the question if uh, this PowerPoint slide will be uh, shared. We are giving you more than what is in this power, um, uh, PowerPoint presentation. These are just the for, for orientation. What we have opted to give out is the full um, handout. We don't do this. Many of you who are in Avron and in all our, our workshops and uh, webinars, we, will, we may share a, a, uh, a presentation like this, but we have never shared the student manual of all the courses. So but we have taken uh, time to plan and say, those who are coming on this pilot phase, we will give them this um, content. So the rest I show you get something more than this uh, uh, power deck, PowerPoint deck. So at the end of each topic, you'll be given an activity 
to complete. This helps to uh, reinforce learning, what we have learned. And please, uh, we expect every student to be responsive. I, I know that some of us may not count uh, 15,000 Naira or $37 to be very uh, significant. But for me, no matter how much you spend, I believe if we spend money on a course, we should give attention to it so that we can derive value for the money. So I want to encourage us to make that sacrifice. I am believing that uh, by at the end of this um, uh, orientation, we will also uh, schedule the time on a weekly basis that will be convenient to most people. Because of course, it is almost impossible to get a schedule that will fit all participants. Okay, so we will expect every uh, student to complete all the activities that follow each topic. At the end of each lesson, we will summarize what has been covered and they will provide a few review questions for you to answer. There are supplementary learning for selected subjects, and these are provided in the form of lesson labs at the end of the book. Like I say, it's a book that we are giving you. Each lesson is assigned to a week. So like we said, there are five of them, and um, we have, we have, we have uh, scheduled for this course to last for four to five weeks. However, by the fourth week, we believe that if everybody follows and tags along, the last week is something that everybody can actually go on their own, all right? So each lesson is assigned to a week, and this means that students are expected to study a lesson within the week. We are all busy people, and so we are going to be looking at the key, uh, uh, the key topics. So when we give you the book, the book is arranged in a very chronological way with table of content. You can easily go to a particular page and then read up what you want to read for that week. At the end of each week, the class will now convene in a peer-to-peer -peer interactive session, just like we are having right now. And this period, we are just going to review what has been covered in the previous week. This continues this way until the five lessons or four lessons are covered. Now, uh, before we begin the course itself, um, we are going to give you links to download the exercise files to a convenient location that you have in your system. So throughout this course, there will be reference and they are very key in our learning experience. Now, we, we talked about the five lessons. Briefly, we are going to look at these five lessons. What are they and what do we hope to achieve in each lesson? Lesson one, students will learn how to describe the components of BI, a power BI, power business intelligence. That BI means business intelligence. You will also learn how to work with power BI files, just like we have Excel files, we have Microsoft document, uh, Microsoft Word files, and so on and so forth. PDF, PowerPoint also has its files. And so we we'll know how to work with those files. We also know how to connect to data sources with Power BI desktop clients. We'll be able to know how to create and visualize our reports and then work with visualizations. To help us achieve this, these are the basic topics that we'll, be, uh, that we'll be looking into. We'll look at introduction to Power BI. We'll also look at working with Power BI desktop files, connecting to data sources to Power BI desktop, creating a report with visualization. Like I say, the first time I heard about Power BI, you know, I was very enthusiastic, but my mindset was that, well, my mind was, I was going to encounter a very difficult to handle uh, tool, I made up my mind I was going to learn a very difficult thing. But the moment I looked at it and saw how it, uh, uh, how it works, 
it was easy for me to understand because I had already gone with the deep, deep uh, workforce that I was going to encounter some challenges. But I wish to tell you that come with open mind. It's easy to go with. Creating report with visualization is just a click of the button. And then we we'll also look at doing more with visualizations. Now, at this point, I want to just give us a, brief, a very brief component of the Power BI. Now, the Power BI has these three components. You start with the desktop client, which is what you download and install on your laptop. Now, um, you do not necessarily need to pay for the service, for Power BI service to get this installed. All you need to do is to create uh, a Power BI account, which is free. Now, once this is installed on your system, this is what you use to create uh, your data set. Now, you may create, you may not create, you may just connect. Your system, I believe most systems already have Microsoft Excel or even any form of a data platform. All you need to do is when you go to the desktop, you want to import or get data. You can get data from your Excel on the laptop. You can get data outside your laptop. If you go to the net, you can go to Facebook. You can go to anywhere the data is and use your desktop client to connect it. Once you connect it, it brings it down to your desktop. You can work on it, do whatever you want to do using your basic Excel um, knowledge. Because even if it is on Facebook, the data on Facebook or internet may just be numbers that are typed, like in Microsoft Word or just on HTML. Uh, HTML. You just bring it down and then it automatically aligns to your uh, Excel spreadsheet. And then you can use um, Power Query to modify the data, transform it in a way that it can speak and bring out intelligence. So that was why in our assessment, in that enrollment form, we ask you to rate your Power Query skills. Okay, so that desktop client is what helps you to do this. Now, the, there is another component of Power BI called the web interface. Now, for the free uh, accounts that you, you will have, you can use this and upload it in the web interface. And then there, you create your dashboard. Of course, with a desktop client, you already created your dashboard and your reports, and then you put it on your workspace. We are going to see that, but I just want to use this opportunity to describe these three components that will help us to understand it deeper. So when you create on the web interface, you create your workspace, that is where you can be keeping the, your reports that you create. You cannot share this report or collaborate with any other person with a free Power BI account. So for you to um, collaborate with others, your organization has to buy this, the Power BI, either the Pro or the Premium. So the, those are the ones that has the feature of sharing with members of the organization. Okay, so if Havron had multiple, let's say we had 150 or 60 or a good number of workers, we can buy for business because with your personal email, Power uh, Microsoft will not grant you uh, opportunity to buy the service. So you must buy it as an organization. Now, when you buy it as an organization, then the users in the organization 
can now share because it is an organization um, account. So it is at this web interface that those collaboration happens. Now the mobile app is what helps you to be on the go. You can download the mobile app and then connect with your account to the mobile apps. So wherever you go, you can see it happening. You can see what has been shared, uh, the reports and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is uh, the components. As the, we go deeper into the course, you will have deeper understanding of this concept. Now in lesson two, please permit me to run through them. I know you may have questions, please you uh, jot them down. We'll have enough time to discuss uh, your questions. So during lesson two, which hopefully will be our week two, we hope to uh, learn how to transform and sanitize data. You know, it's not all the data that we have that are good to go. We need to sanitize them. We need to wash them. We need to uh, clean them up. We need to change them to a format that is easy to analyze. In our previous course on Excel, we discussed about uh, how to clean data, how to transform data from uh, different formats that they come. Okay, so we'll be learning how to do this in this Power BI training. Then we will now uh, learn how to use the Power uh, Query. The Power Query has an a query editor where you do the things you do, edit your data, transform it, and do a lot of things. Then we also learn how to model data. They will manage relationships in data. You may have different tables, and then we'll see how we're able to manage relationship between the different tables that we create. And to help us do this, these are the lessons topics that we'll be looking into, transforming and sanitizing data, using the query editor, data modeling, managing relationships. Then week three, our objectives will be how to manage report pages, how to change report view options, how to work with visualizations and their data, and then how do we add static objects to a report? There are times you will see your, um, your chart, you will just want to bring something on top, but the chart options do not give you that permission. So you may have the need to bring in other objects and put on your report. So we are we'll be looking on, on how to add static objects to our report. And to help us do this, these are the topics, each topic addressing a particular um, objectives. Now, during lesson four, we'll be looking at how to create and manage these types of visualizations, okay? Matrices, tables, charts, maps, gauges, cards, KPIs, and slicers. And to help us, these are the different topics that we'll be using to accomplish that. And then the final lesson is lesson five, and we are hoping that uh, students will learn uh, how to use the Power BI web assets. You know, like I said, I just briefly described that at the initial phase so that when we get to this point, it's something that we're already anticipating to learn and it will be easy for us. We'll also learn how to connect data sources from the Power BI app. Then use the workspaces, the dashboards, the reports and other Power BI app features. So these are the things that um, we hope to achieve in during lesson five, that is week five. And to help us, these are the topics that we hope to use. You can see that the course itself is very, very loaded. And um, I'm very, very excited. I don't know about you. It's something that I really look forward to. As we interact, we will learn from each other. Uh, from the, uh, the assessment of, of the, um, the enrollment assessment that we did, 
a good number of you rated yourself four in Power Query. That's great. It gives me joy. Only a few of them, uh, of you, rated one, two, and so on and so forth. But God will help us to see how we'll be able to carry everyone along and everyone will be on the same page. You know, one of the things that can discourage participants in a class like this is when others are saying, ah, good to go, good to go. And then you're finding it difficult to understand a particular concept that everybody is saying, good to go, good to go. And then you feel alone. You see yourself in silence and you don't know uh, whether if you uh, raise your hand to ask a question, somebody might begin to, uh, where is this one coming from? Please, this is why it's a peer-to-peer -peer review, uh, I mean, a peer review uh, uh, interactive session. We are all learning from one another. The things I know in Excel today didn't just come from me setting out to learn. Majority of them, yes, came from my setting out to learn and courses that I undertaking. But there are some key ones I learned during interactive sessions. You know, we say, okay, who knows this? Somebody makes a question and then uh, somebody responds. I learn good things. And there are times people will ask difficult questions. I do not know it. And then when I go to look deep into it, it opens me up into a new lesson. So I want to encourage every one of us, please do not be shy. Ask your question. The only person who can go astray is somebody who does not know and does not ask question. Anybody who does not know and ask question, that person will learn more. Okay, so uh, with this, I want to thank everyone of us for your attention. And so at this point, I would like to ask us um, if there are questions so that we can ask them and then we'll get responses to them. Once again, I appreciate your uh, attention and your patience. So if we have any question, yes, we can ask. We can raise our hand. We can send it in the chat, the box. chat box. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Is that us, Sasu? Yes, this is Asasu speaking. Thank you. Okay, good evening. You're welcome. Please go yes. ahead. Yes, I please. I just wanted to know because from the um, um survey you sent out, you asked about our Excel um, knowledge, previous knowledge. So I wanted to know, is it that um, when you are not in your intermediate, at that intermediate level, it will be difficult for you to understand what we are going to do, or I just want you to throw more light on that. Okay, um, that is just to help us know what level of intervention to apply when we are dealing with certain topics. Okay. It will also help us know where to start, where to start. It will also help us to know those who may require uh, any of our courses. Okay. You know, we have uh, different Excel courses. Okay. So if you feel that you need certain knowledge and um, that will help you understand the concept we are going to be dealing with in Power BI, we can ask you to, we can enroll you into that course free of charge. Okay. Okay. So that's just what we wanted to um, use that for. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, there's another question here. I want to ask what are the consequences of your organization procuring the web interface? Does it mean I cannot utilize Power BI independently? Sure, you can utilize it independently. You can buy, I mean, you can, uh, you can create a free account, but you creating your free account, you can only share a report that I cannot collaborate with. You just share the report, you analyze, look at it, how it is, then you share. And then when I get the link, it's just for me to look at what you have uh, created. I cannot contribute to it. So that's the difference. 
But if my organization is the one that did that and he shares it, I can collaborate, I can make input. You can make input, every other person can make input on it. So that's just the difference. Oh, well, I hope my so issue was, sorry? Could I want to ask the question if that is taken ready? Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. So yes, go ahead and ask question. All right, so just in line to the last uh, response you provided to the question asked on the chat box. Okay. Um, so I'm seeing it from the from the background of we like we have our presentation slides prepared in our various organizations and you know just showing performance of our program. Uh, without uh, procuring or without my organization procuring an account with Power BI. If I analyze our performance using Power BI, can I can I can I present it and they will be able to look at it and make some decisions? That's my question. Yes, you can um, create your report. That's your own report. You can use it to create a report. You know, Power BI, another feature for you, use it personally. There are some, there are some uh, visuals, visualizations, some graphs, some charts that you cannot ordinarily do using your Excel, I tell you. If I want to create, you know this thermometer gauge, you know this um, speedometer gauge, I cannot use Excel one, two, three, and create it. I need to, it's, uh, that kind of chart is a special chart, which requires some manipulation, some combination. You need to do some com a combination of some charts, adding them together to get special charts like thermometer, speedometer, progress chart, and several other ones. With Excel, you can do that, but it requires several steps. However, with your simple data, on a table as it is. Power BI, just pressing one button, will present that on a speedometer chart, on map, uh, map charts and different charts. All these charts that we talked about, with just a click of the button, it transforms that for you. And with that, you can copy it and or export it out as PowerPoint presentation and make your presentation. So if you want to visualize your data, with special charts. You can use Excel and do a lot of manipulations. But with Power BI, just a click of point, of point your, you have selected your data set. Just look at the visualizations, your report. Click, um, um, what's it called? Click any of the charts, say speedometer. It brings it out automatically. Click any other one, it changes it automatically. That's the beauty of that. But however, if, it is, if you are working with your personal um, free account, those visualizations, when you share it, nobody else collaborate on it. Nobody can add or uh, intuitively ask uh, Power BI or employ the services of uh, I mean, uh, AI to give you trend or give you uh, hints about it. That's just the difference. Did I help? Yes, very, very uh, helpful. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. So, uh, in genealogy, your hand is up. Please go ahead and speak. Okay, good evening, everyone. I want to thank uh, the presenter. I uh, from the uh, points and uh, what you have uh, presented so far, it is truly interesting and um, the slides make it easier. And I think uh, at the end of the program, we will be our BIS parts. Please, I just want you to show back a slide for lesson 
lesson plan for week four. Okay. Okay, okay, I have seen what I'm looking for. The different slicers, cards, and the matrices, tables, and charts. Also, my other question is there someone already have asked it here concerning Hello, is that okay? Hey, I am okay now. I'm okay. Uh, Hello, Oluchi. Yes, I'm okay now. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm okay. Uh, Continue, I'm okay. Hello, is the class over? Hello, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, my network just snapped. So sorry oh, about okay. that. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, so uh, the last I heard from uh, genealogy is that uh, she was cleared about that. Was there any other question you wanted to ask? Yes, it's all because you mentioned of the software. Now that we're going to start the classes, how would it, do we have a um, trial version of Power BI we're going to use for? the learning for the one class. of the things one of the things that we hope to achieve is to give you a link to download that is free and install it on your system okay yes and uh, although i've lost that chat somebody asked a question uh, whether we are going to install that whether we are going to pay sorry um i i i wanted to respond to that before my network snapped and now i can't remember the full questions if you are the one that sent that question please Okay, and maybe those of you that are linked are still connected. That question that talked about, uh, um, what was it again? Is it the Is one it... that said it as a software first on our laptop? Can okay, it work yes. offline? Okay, yes, Especially yes, Especially yes, yes. if you have to link to data source outside your desktop. Okay, yes, your, um, okay, okay, I think it's back again. Okay, do we have to download it as a software first on our laptop? Yes, you need internet to download and install it. Can it work offline? Yes, it can work offline. So if you have a link to a data source, that data is there on your, once you connect your data outside your system, it, like I said, you have it on your desktop and then you work with it. Now, if that data source, if there is a change, all you need to do is to click refresh on your desktop. And then with your internet connected, it can go straight, shake hand with that source, and then pull the updated data, bring it back, and it will reflect on your report. So yes, it works offline, but for you to get it first, you need to install it using internet and bring it down to your system. Then if you are going to work with data that is outside your system, you need internet to connect to that uh, uh, data source. But if it is within your system, you can work with it offline. I hope that helps, Ibinovia. All right, thank you. So do we have anyone's hands up again? Or do we have any other further questions? So um, some of the things that we'll be doing is uh, on, on the WhatsApp group, we'll be sharing um, details 
like the link for um, the um, desktop client, um, I will look for a link and share with you. Mine, I downloaded it from um, Microsoft's store. You can go there and then type um, Power BI. It will give you the most recent version. When you look at the, at the um, student manual, you will also be told that they update it every month. That's the desktop client. Whereas the, um, uh, the web interface, I think it's every week that Microsoft updates it. Okay, so um, most of the things you'll be seeing in the manual, they were as at the time they were created. So, but when you download the latest one and install, uh, the principle is the same, but the picture may differ. So I just want us to note that. All right, so while we wait, if there are more questions, let's use two minutes to discuss um, schedule. You know, in our attempt to schedule for meetings, our first priority is on uh, the students. So we give attention to the convenience because we are not happy when we organize lessons, even though they pay and they don't attend, we are not happy. Okay, so uh, we didn't have run facilitators that um, facilitate certain trainings. We always uh, assess them on how many of your participants graduated, how many of them finished well, how many did you follow up? You know, those are the things. So our key focus is on participants. So with that, we want to choose. We have uh, selected and scheduled every Tuesday. That's what has been running on our flyers every Tuesday, 8 to 10 p.m. However, for this pilot, we want you to tell us. It may be possible that the group of people in this pilot badge, they may have preference for a particular day of the week based on their schedule. So we want to find out, just help us type what uh, the day of the week you think. We, we will, uh, we will uh, if it is easy for us to finish it here, we can. If not, we will create a poll on the WhatsApp group and then get that done. So we were thinking that um, Tuesday uh, evening will be ideal. Tuesday 8 to 10. So um, we want you to go ahead and let us know. Can you type on the chat box? Okay, good. We have Tuesday, we have Monday. Uh, hello, Mr. Roy. Hello, Mr. Roy. Okay. Well, maybe we lost him. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and. Uh, okay. Without wasting much time, please, let's just use. Um, I'm going to put a poll on the WhatsApp group. Okay, already we have about five Tuesdays. One, uh, yeah, it is only a day in a week because we are all working. So a lot of Tuesdays are here. So uh, I'm going to share a poll. I'm going to share a poll on the WhatsApp so that we we'll choose our preferred date. And then 8 p.m. is the day that we feel will be uh, fine for us. Okay, so thanks everyone for your attention. If there are questions that crop up in your mind after here, please do not hesitate to ask it in the WhatsApp group, all right? So thanks everyone for your attention. We are going to also share uh, this recording so that those of us who could not attend 
or those who want to, of course, it's always good to recap what we have learned. We can make um, a use of the link thank to recap. Thank you. So thank you so much. Sorry, I joined late. I was trying to navigate uh, on the platform. Okay. Thank you so much. So thank you, everyone. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Good night. Yeah. Hello, Tefa. Thank <laughs> you.